Hello YouTube and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to this review of this Lego Creator set. So this is set 31025 and this is the Mountain Hut. So this is a 3 in 1 set and it comes with 550 pieces. It's for ages 8 to 12 and it currently retails here in the UK for £34.99 on the Lego store. Or the Lego store online. Okay, so like I said, this is a three in one set. And looking at the rear of the box now, we can see the three different versions um, or options of build. So obviously, here we have one version, and up here um, being the second, and then over here on the right is the final um, build out of the three um, and the options that you have there. Okay, so back to the front of the box. The build that I have chosen is the main build as pictured on the front of the box here. Um, that's what I will be showing you and reviewing. I will not be um, building or reviewing the two alternative builds. Okay, so you do get three instruction manuals and that is one per build or per um, a version. So that's obviously for that build. Um, instruction manual for that build, which is the one that I'm going to be showing you. So that's the version that I have built. Um, and then the final one there, so you do get all three instruction manuals with this particular set. Okay guys, there we go, so there's our first look at the Mountain Hut. Um, good little fun build, I enjoyed building this one. I do like these um, uh, creator sets, these builds, particularly the building, um, the buildings themselves, like for example in this one, the actual Mountain Hut. Um, so first thing we would do is take a look at the minifigure that comes with the set. Okay, so here is the minifigure and this is the climber. Um, so there's the front view, you can see he's got this cool little uh, grey climbing helmet on, obviously to protect him. Okay, and then we go back to the front and obviously with that helmet off and a bit of a better look at that face print and then it is just the single sided face printing so pretty basic minifigure. Okay guys so next up we have our quad bike um, which comes with this build which I am reviewing and showing you now. There we go just moving out of shot there. There we go. And there we go there with the minifigure um, beside the quad bike. And then finally with the minifigure obviously sat on top of his quad bike. Okay, so now looking at the main set itself, I'm just going to start off by giving you a bit of a 360 view of the set. So obviously there we can see the front. We'll take a close look at some of the features in a second. Just spin the set round there so you can look at, see that side. And then round to the rear of the set. And finally round to the side where the mountain and cave area is. Okay, so back around to the front. Obviously here we have the uh, mountain cabin itself. And obviously there's a few things or features really to point out on this. Um, here we have a pickaxe um, on the front of the building here. This obviously does come off. It's just held on there by that clip. I just try and pull this off one handed. There we go. So there we can see that pickaxe. See a number of features, a bit of detailing, some little plant areas down here. We have this little railing or fence piece there. Um, and obviously, you have the little porch area um, out the front of the building there. Um, continuing across there. You can see there, there is a little stove or fire area and there is a, um, a pan there um, on top of the fire, obviously boiling some water or cooking something inside. Um, we have 
this little bench area here, um, which is obviously going across this little stream. Or it could even be a little uh, it's a bridge, actually, a little bridge, sorry. So it's a little bridge walkway area, apologies for that, um, which we can see there, and obviously just the railing to hold onto um, as the minifigure would make his way across that bridge to obviously get down to the climbing area. So obviously over on this side here is where our main climbing area is. So this is the actual mountain area itself. Um, good use of some of these translucent pieces here. Um, if again, if we could take a closer look at that, we got some of the translucent um, blue and obviously clear, which is obviously depicting um, water flowing down the mountain and obviously creating the effect of this stream. So some good use of uh, parts and pieces there. And again, you've got some foliage and um, greenery, plants, etc. Um, around you know the various parts of the mountain. Um, just keeping zoomed in there, if I spin around to that side, this is what's referred to as the cave area. So obviously um, the minifigure can go exploring into the cave there. And again, spinning around to the rear, um, we can see that again there. I'm going to try and tilt this forward now, because um, there is actually inside the cave, and hopefully get some light in there. Yeah, we can just about pick it up here is a gem um, so some obviously some a gem piece um, which is hanging down um, in there again so we can get some there you go a bit better light in there so we can see that so that's obviously for our climber um, to go in the caves exploring and obviously find some uh, uh, valuable stones inside there Okay, so while we're on the rear, we have this little um, tree here as well. Almost like um, it's one of the Christmas trees, so it's an evergreen tree. Um, again, good little build. Okay, and so up on the top of the mountain, um, hopefully we can see there, we have this eagle um, sitting on the very top of the mountain. So good little build to obviously make that and represent um, that eagle. Okay, so just making our way around this hut now, um, and again, just show you some of the detail in there on the roof. Again, on the very top of it is some greenery and some foliage. Um, there we have our chimney with the smoke coming out of the top of it. Um, and if I continue round to the rear of the building there, again, just so you can pick up some of that detailing. Um, rear of the building, you know, pretty um, obviously plain, a couple of windows there, but one thing you may have noticed now is there is a hinge piece there and a hinge piece there, so that obviously gives away what one of the functions is. Um, and also down here we have this clip piece here um, and also here. So let me just show you that function now. So the next cool part of this building is um, quite simply we can open the building up like so and it just simply snaps open i'm just going to show you it from the rear first so there again are these um, little clip pieces down here so this is when we push it all the way together it will clip there we go and hold together um, so even in that view there, uh, obviously an alternative um, display mode, I guess. Um, you could have it that way around, which obviously makes the building appear obviously larger. Obviously the main function is, if we spin it round, we now get our view of the inside um, of the mountain hut. So let's take a closer look inside now. Okay, so there we go. So looking inside the mountain hut itself now. Um, first thing at the rear here, we have a fireplace and up above it there, um, there's um, obviously the head of some kind of animal, a steer or something that has been hunted. Um, over here, we have some logs, etc. 
um, ready to be put into the fire um, to keep the climber and obviously the mountain hut warm. We have this little table area over here with this yellow mug. And that's pretty much it for that side. If we go over to the other side um, of the mountain hut there, um, a couple of things in there. We have this um, set of drawers area here. Um, there's this little lamp or light on top of it. Um, and then we have, hopefully you can pick it up, get a little bit more light in it. Um, there is this picture up here on the wall of a sailing boat. Hopefully you can pick that up out in the night on the seas and obviously the moon up there. And again, that is a printed tile. So pretty cool little piece um, that comes with the set. Okay, and zoomed back out so you can see um, the entire view of the mountain hut opened up. Okay guys, there we go, that's my review of the Mountain Hut um, Complete. Pretty good little uh, Lego creator set. I enjoyed the build, like I said, I think this is a good build, some good little features in it, and I think it looked good um, on display and as potentially part of someone's um, Lego city. It could obviously be a kind of a mountain area. Um, uh, but yeah, there we go guys. Um, so if you've enjoyed this video, please do go ahead and give it that big thumbs up. Um, let me know what you think of the set down in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!